Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will talk about an important algorithm called extended Euclid algorithm in a Galois field. We already talked about regular extended Euclid algorithm. Let me recall that very quickly for you. In the regular extended Euclid algorithm, the task is that you're given two numbers A and B. Okay. Your goal is to find two other numbers X and Y such that A times X plus B times Y is equal to GCD of A and B. Okay. This is the regular extended Euclidean algorithm we applied in the past, and I will put a reference to the algorithm in the description. But now, in this segment, the goal is slightly different. The goal is not to assume A and B as integers, but assume A and B are polynomials. So A and B are two given polynomials in Galois field. That means the coefficients are either zeros or ones. Okay. The goal is to find two other polynomials. Uh, I'm going to use the same notation, although we rarely use small letters to denote a polynomial, but uh, for this particular segment, uh, X and Y are polynomials. So A times X plus B times Y is equal to GCD of A comma B. So in this case, we want to find two other polynomials. We need to find X, we need to find Y. And if you multiply A times X plus B times Y, we need to get the GCD. This GCD is the uh, GCD we talked about in the previous segment in Galois field. Okay, so we need to compute the GCD of two polynomials also. This is usually denoted by D. As I said earlier, we are going to leverage the algorithm that was already invented for computing X and Y in the case of numbers, okay? It turned out that we can reuse the same algorithm. Only difference is that our multiplication will be done in the Galua field, our reminder operation instead of regular mod, we will be using the Galua field reminder that I have talked about in the previous segment. Okay, show you first on the, uh, very quickly, the right-hand side, how we did it in the past, this one. And I will then show to you that the same algorithm can be transferred to solve uh, this particular problem, meaning A times X plus B times Y equal to D, where A and B are polynomials. We will find two other polynomials, X and Y, such that A times X plus B times Y equal to D. Uh, we will use this to compute the inverse in the next segment, okay? All right, let's get started now. So this is the regular extended Euclidean algorithm. I have a recursive version of it. In Python, you need to make sure that the recursion doesn't go out of um, the bounds. So you have to adjust the stack uh, space. Uh, that's a low-level detail, but for, for our purpose, this is okay. This you have already seen. I, I will be putting the reference to this video and explaining all the details of how it worked. Uh, the reason I'm showing it to you is that it's a recursive algorithm. As you can see here, I'm calling the same algorithm. Um, and I'm using the regular mod and then a regular division. So that's basically how we did this part in the past. Now I'll show you remarkably the same algorithm for Galua field. Okay. It's really the same algorithm. All we are doing is um, instead of doing the mod, we would be using Galua field reminder algorithm. Okay. And this is the same recursion structure that I talked about is used. And uh, we, instead of doing the regular addition, we will be doing Galua field addition and Galua field multiplication, okay? Other than that, there's no difference, okay? So in the end, we will get uh, X and Y as polynomials. And as a side effect, we also learn the GCD of two polynomials C and B, okay? So why is this correct? The correctness I have proved in the um, case of numbers, I put the reference to it in the description. So it's a video that we recorded a long time ago, so you can watch that um, for, for any general set of numbers A and B. You can find X and Y such that A times X plus B times Y equal to D. But I have quote unquote port this uh, concept to Galois field. All I did is just essentially replace mod by Galois field reminder operation, uh, addition by Galois field addition, multiplication by Galois field multiplication, that's all, okay. I'll now show to you uh, very quickly how, how we can um, um, find inverse using this algorithm, okay? Suppose we found out the two polynomials X and Y, uh, what can we do with this? So we do know that, you know, A is input and we found out another polynomial such that A times X plus B times Y is equal to GCD of A and B. Let's assume GCD of A and B is one because otherwise inverse won't exist between um, Otherwise, you will not be able to find the inverse of A in mod B, okay? So we need to assume it's one. We already proved that also, which means we can rewrite this as 
a times x is equal to one uh, plus by. In Galois field, there's no difference between plus and minus, so I can replace it by one plus by. Okay. And then if you take mod on both sides with respect to mod b, so what you get out is that a times x is congruent to one mod b. x is the inverse of a. So x is equal to a inverse. That's it. So the, this is how you can find inverse of a polynomial in a Galois field. I'll show you my Python implementation very quickly. So we'll do Galois field to mod inverse. Whatever I have shown on the whiteboard is just codified here. We call the extended Euclidean algorithm in a Galois field to find out x and y. As I said earlier, inverse only exists if b is one. And then all I'm doing is just return x in a Galois field. So uh, that's basically the, uh, the inverse of uh, one polynomial, okay? The polynomial inverse is x for the given polynomial a, okay? So let me show you a demo of this now. So I'm going to use two polynomials and show to you uh, how to compute the inverse. So my polynomial, let's use the letters that I have used on the whiteboard. So a will be, let's say my polynomial a is say, x power, I'll write it here. Let's say my a is x power seven plus x power six plus x. Okay, this is a polynomial in a Galois field, uh, gf of uh, two power eight. Okay, it makes sense because the degree of the polynomial is seven. That means um, it, it can be an element, it will be an element in GF two for eight. And uh, let's say B is another polynomial. By the way, this B is special polynomial. It's called the AES polynomial because the AES algorithm in cryptography uses this polynomial, X power eight plus X power four uh, plus X cube uh, plus X plus one. We can find out the goal is to find the A inverse. Okay, what polynomial shall I multiply with A? The goal is to find some other polynomial. When I multiply it with this polynomial, I get one in mod B. Okay, that is basically my goal. So let's see whether we can find it using our algorithm we talked about. So first of all, I need to set the, uh, prepare the polynomial A, set bit A seventh position is turned on, sixth position, and then the first position. Similarly for B, GF2 mod inverse algorithm, which should give us the inverse of A in this polynomial. Okay, so it shows 47. What is 47? 47 is another polynomial. Of course, we have to interpret it in binaries to see the polynomial itself. So the polynomial is actually for five, x power four is zero, x power three, x power two, x and one. So this polynomial is actually the inverse polynomial for this polynomial. Okay, so if you were to multiply A with this polynomial, you will get a one when you do mod B. So let's do that. We already did modular arithmetic, so we should be able to check that. Okay, so I'm going to do modular multiplication to see that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is GF2 multiply mod, right, of A and 47 in B. So you should get one now, and we got one. When you get one, remember one means in binary representation, if you write it, you'll get one, which means the zeroth position is turned on. That means just a constant one. Okay, so we get one here, as you can see. So we, we got one as expected, and our algorithm actually found the inverse polynomial for this particular A. Okay, it will work for any A, um, as I have shown to you. Okay, so to summarize very quickly, all we did is apply the extended Euclidean algorithm, right? to find um, X and Y polynomial. And then we know that A and B are relatively prime, otherwise in A inverse doesn't exist. So A times X plus B times Y equal to one. And I can push the B times Y to the right hand side. Since plus and minus are same in Galua field, we can write it as A times X is equal to one plus B times Y. And if you apply mod B on both sides, you, you can see here A times X is congruent to uh, one mod B. Okay, so that is basically the idea of uh, mod inverse, right? You are multiplying A with some other polynomial to get one. Just to be clear, uh, the left-hand side, whatever I have placed here, A, B, X, Y are all polynomials, okay? This whole thing, this box is a polynomial, okay? Everything is a polynomial here. So what we learned here is that we were able to find inverse of a polynomial using the extended Euclidean algorithm.